What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? Welcome to another edition of Fix Yo Self. Or actually, I'm Silent Mike, and I'm here to fix yo self. Taking your guys' videos, taking your form, and trying to fix it up, send you guys some cues that hopefully you can either relate to, or if you got the chance to get chosen, the chance to get chosen, um, then you get some coaching free, faux free 50. Uh, this squad actually looks pretty dang good. Uh, you can notice on the first couple reps, one, I don't like his walkout. Try to make that a little more efficient, and that goes for everyone. Two uh, to maybe three steps. Uh, four if you have to, but make them deliberate, make them strong. Um, the other thing is you could see his chest rise a little bit. And that what, what's that telling me is that you're not breathing into your stomach. Breathe into your balls. Breathe into your glutes. Huh? Uh, what I need you to do is breathe 360 into your lower stomach, sides, and low back. That's going to stabilize the spine. You're going to breathe and brace down. If you're breathing into your chest, that means that you're not bracing. The intro of diamond arm pressure, the valve salve maneuver, all these terms you guys can Google and get some more um visuals on i've also done a, a lot of videos on it but uh, what we want to do is create stability from our hip to our shoulder uh, and that'll allow us to transfer the power into the ground or through the ground excuse me into the barbell uh, the other thing i see is i know some of those were slow-mo uh, many people will descend into the hole too fast um, and then when they try to uh, find position to squat back up they lose balance hips shoot up and they try to find tightness uh, you my friend might be going a little too slow. Um, controlled is fine and controlled is what we need, but we want controlled chaos. Uh, you want to get a little bit of that rebound, a little bit of explosive power coming out of the hole. Um, and often true, the faster you go down under control, the faster you're going to come up. Uh, I've mentioned that in a lot of videos. I do want to go as fast as possible on the squats and the bench when it comes to the eccentric, the descent. But you want to be quick but don't hurry, as my man John Wooden always would say. So uh, if you found your groove and you feel comfortable with the squat form, I would try to move a little bit faster on the way down and then blast your way up, driving your back into the bar. Uh, from this angle, it looks like that belt is extra super duper duper tight. Um, what I would recommend is loosening that thing just a little bit, maybe one notcher, uh, and that will also reinforce you to breathe into the belt, to push your stomach into the belt, push your sides, the love handles, the obliques into the belt or push your low back into the belt and that will create um, the stability that we want in that midline. We got more squats. I like the view already. Thanks for that, buddy. Uh, again, with the walkout, we want to make that more efficient. We want to make that more deliberate and that probably goes for everybody listening. This form looks really, really solid, man. Uh, really, really solid. Pace is good. Head's moving a little bit. You want to lock that thing in. Wherever you want to keep your head, I would keep it there. Let's just take a second to admire the display the premiere of the brand new logo in the background. We got the basic logo, the silent mic branding. We'll go into detail if you guys want on it another time. Uh, the squat does look good. So you got a ridiculous low bar position, which is good. Hands are very tight. Elbows are tight. It looks like your back is tight. We want to make that walkout efficient. Uh, again, your belt may be a little uh, hair tight, although your breathing seems okay. I would experiment with a slightly looser belt and really pushing your stomach into that and create that pressure. Um, the belt is... Uh, good and it can help you um, get a little bit tighter but I think it more so just helps you mentally uh, cue to get tighter and if the belt is too tight uh, then you can't breathe into it and actually uh, get tighter. Make sure those elbows are even. It might be the camera if not. Make sure that bar is even. If, if not, a little tip that I use is I place my hands first using the power rings and then from there I lock my eyes into the dead middle of the bar as I walk under it and then more Often than not, you will end up in the middle of the bar. Looks pretty dang good from this angle. Uh, you see a slight ankle collapse on that right ankle. Uh, you also get onto your toes a little bit. So what I recommend uh, doing is you can try a heeled shoe. You could also just try some mobility wad drills that are free on YouTube to loosen up that calf and that ankle before you squat uh, because you want to keep that heel on the ground. People talk about pushing through your heels. Um, that's an okay cue, but I think it's a little side words. Get you guys a little bit uh, confused. What we want to do is really grasp the ground with all of our foot. The more foot on the ground, the better, the more stable we're going to be. Uh, and that means the balls of your toes, your heels, the outside of your foot. And then you're going to claw the ground. You're going to grab the ground and squeeze outwards. Um, and right now, if your heel's coming off the ground like that, it tells me that the weight is shifting you forward, obviously, um, but as well as you're not getting the activation in your glutes and you're not getting the stability from your entire foot being on the ground. So we got a squat session. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a squat party. Uh, a little bit more efficient walkout, not too bad. You got those basketball shorts on. It's going to be hard to see what's going on. 
not bad. Uh, I don't know if you're doing a pause squat on purpose or if that's a, just a habit um, or if it's an inconsistent habit. But what we want to do is find pace. Pace is very important in the squat, bench, and deadlift. Um, the form is important. Staying tight is important. Um, technique, bar path, all that. But the pace of the lift going up and down, concentric and eccentric, I find the groove and the speed that you move through that groove are just as important hitting PRs. Uh, we got a hair a bit of butt wink, which kind of means your hips are rolling under you. Sometimes butt wink, your hips roll behind you as well. Um, and that can just be some mobility stuff in the hips. It means um, you could have tight hips. It means you could be sitting uh, too much, too often with poor posture. What I recommend for many people, just in general, is you could do some air squats on days that you're not training in the gym. Uh, if you're sitting at a desk job, get up and walk around. Get a standing desk so you can do half the day standing, half the day seated. Pay attention to your posture 24-7. When people say they have imbalances, when people say they have issues, it's often um, because of what you're doing the 23 hours you're not in the gym. How you're sleeping, how you're standing, how you're sitting. Can't tell from this angle. Um, it looks like your thumbs aren't around the bar, and that is fine. Um, typically, I think for most, uh, it's best to have your thumbs around the bar if possible, squeezing the bar tight and pulling it into your back. Um, and I think, uh, my man here, I think you can do it. Breathing, bracing, eyes, everything looks good. You actually look like you have a really good build to be a huge squatter. We just got to fix a little bit of that walkout, a little bit of the butt wink, um, and then the pace. Uh, so if you're going to pause, pause and make an assistance move. And if you're not going to pause, you got to find your timing so you can rebound out of the hole. Everything else looks uh, pretty dang salad. What do we got here? I think I know what we got here. This is none other than Sandy Marie on Instagram. She wanted to be featured so dang bad that she threw in her sumo. Uh, Sandy has played soccer her entire life. Uh, did some general strength and conditioning for a while. Oh, that's a nice belt loop uh, tuck in very slow-mo. Uh, she's pulled 375 pounds in competition. Uh, look for a 400-pound pull coming very soon. She has a really good sumo deadlift, uh, really good form, actually. I love this setup here. This is the Gangster uh, Sears uh, kit that the plates are full of water. Uh, my man's actually got really good form, really solid form. You see a hair... Actually, it looks really good, man. The barefoot, the squat rack looks so short as shit. So you can see him breathing into his shoulders a little bit there. You see the bar bounce up and down. When weights get heavier, you get into the four, five, six, uh, 700 pounds, you'll see the bar start to wobble more. So what you need to do is, uh, one, you need to breathe into your stomach for that stability, for that transfer of power, as I mentioned. But two, uh, you don't want that bar wobbling around. You want it as sturdy as possible so then you can just focus on pushing. Look at the quads popping out. What kind of shorts are those? This guy's fucking bodybuilder or something? Um, form looks good. You look a little wobbly there. It looks like you're uh, favoring your right side. It might just be your shorts. Uh, something that may help that if you have some imbalances in any lift is unilateral movement. So a lunge, a Bulgarian split squat, but as well as tempo squats. I've talked about this in a lot of videos. Um, three seconds to five seconds on the way down. Maybe pause and then three to five seconds on the way up will really teach you how to find positioning. You're going to use anywhere from 40 to maybe even 65% of your one rep max. I like where the bar is. I like where your head's at. You could probably, um, because your torso is so upright, you could probably look a little bit more on the horizon, eyes and chin up just a hair. Um, the bar does look uneven in your back, so make sure you're in the middle. Uh, it doesn't look like it's an Olympic bar. It looks like it's a standard bar, which just means it's a different diameter. Uh, but otherwise, man... Really, really solid lifting. If you guys enjoy this type of video, if you guys are getting learnt, if you are liking the videos, please subscribe. Please turn on the notifications. YouTube's acting weird again. Always unsubbing people, not giving the notifications, not throwing me on the suggested videos when, let's be real, these videos should be suggested to the entire world. Instead of drama, instead of negativity that's getting promoted all over YouTube and the rest of the world, let's get better. Let's keep progressing. Let's keep spreading positivity. And give this thing a thumbs up. Now we're moving on my dad. The deadlifts. Uh, looks like he's actually got a pretty dang good build for deadlifts. Shorter torso, longer arms, uh, and femurs somewhere in between. He's looking up at that guy's butt. Solid. So um, it looks fairly heavy. Remember, if you guys are sending these videos in, send it 70 to 75%. That almost looked like a one rep maxer. Uh, maybe he's nervous. Maybe he's just tired. Maybe he's fatigued. Uh, what I suggest for you, my friend, is to move that stance in a little bit. Uh, there's nothing wrong with wide stance uh, deadlifts, but often you'll reduce that range of motion even more and be a little bit comfortable, uh, more comfortable with your feet under your hips, just under your hips, or even more narrow. Uh, the second thing I suggest is to keep that chin tucked a little bit more. Your eyes are way up, chin's way extended 
and it can cause some dysfunction in that spine. Uh, the third thing is to spend less time with your hips in the down position. Stop focusing on the camera, focus on the lifting. Nice big breath, drop those hips, pull that bar into you, drop that chin a little bit, but it looks really, really solid overall. It looks like you just need some reps. That's it for this one, guys. Four videos a week. I do appreciate you. Salam Mike. We're out of here.